जी हाँ इसका तो उत्पाद निर्माता के करते हैं और इतना आपके होल सेलर डिस्ट्रीब्यूटर और लोकल दुकानदार का मुनाफा जुड़ा होता है इसीलिए आपका हक बनता है कि आप ये एम आर सी पर तोड़ मोड़ कर सकते जागो ग्राहक जागो मैच इतनी जल्दी खत्म हो गया कोई आया ही नहीं सब छुट्टियों में घूमने गए अब हम कब जाएंगे मुझे भी क्या है पापा? हम भी छुट्टियों में घूमने जाएंगे पक्का पापा पक्का थैंक यू आपने झूठा वादा क्यों किया घर की ई एम देने के बाद कुछ बचता है क्या झूठा नहीं सच्चा वादा है क्योंकि मैंने अपना होम लोन स्टेट बैंक में शिफ्ट कर दिया है अब ई बहुत कम हो गया है सच बचत ही बचत ई एम आई हुआ कम घूमने चले हम अरे शामू इतने सालों बाद ये देखो भैया का कैरेज क्यों नहीं बनवाया था ना इस साल और दो एकड़ जमीन खरीदी है मैंने और तू बता तेरा कैसा चल रहा चल रहा है मर तेरे जैसा है चलो किसी से मिलवाता हूँ मैनेजर साहब अब शामों का भविष्य भी हमारी जिम्मेदारी है कैनरा बैंक उन्नति के हर कदम पर मैंने अभी अभी जॉब करना शुरू किया है और मेरे लिए बैंक से भी बहुत जरूरी है एल आई सी इज अल चॉइस एल आई सी हमेशा से ही एक भरोसेमंद ऑप्शन रहा है और आगे भी रहेगा नमस्कार प्रधान जी नमस्कार ग्राम सभा के कुछ सदस्य आए हैं महात्मा गांधी राष्ट्रीय रोजगार गारंटी अधिनियम के तहत हुए काम काज के खातों की जांच करना चाहते हैं हाँ हाँ क्यों नहीं के काम काज का हिसाब मांगना ग्राम सभा का हक है ग्राम सभा की मीटिंग के दौरान पंचायत द्वारा कराए गए कामों की गुणवत्ता आरोप चर्चा के साथ साथ हिसाब किताब की जाँच और काम आरोप किए गए खर्चों की पुष्टि की जा सकती है पंचायत द्वारा कराए जा रहे कार्यो में पारदर्शिता बनाए रखने के लिए सोशल ऑडिट बहुत जरूरी है गाँव का विकास भारत का विकास Speak first, update the whole world in 2012. With its vast, secure, economical, and reliable delivery system that reaches from India and across the globe. Speak first from India first. Discover the joy of communication. कितनी चीनी? बेच चम्मच? नहीं, मेरे लिए नहीं. मुझे diabetes है. आपने अपनी खान-पान की आदतों को नियंत्रण में रखा है. ये अच्छा है मधुमेह के रोगी के लिए ये बहुत जरूरी है जरूरी है हाँ मधुमेह का असर सारे शरीर पर होता है खास तौर पर आंखों पर इससे अंधे भी हो सकते हैं यदि आपको डायबिटीज है तो दृष्टि सुरक्षा पर अवश्य ध्यान दें समय समय पर नेत्र तो विशेषज्ञ से अपनी आंखों की जांच करवा बेटे लड्डू लेके जाना गलत नौकरी करने जा रहे हो वहाँ के कायदे कानून के अनुसार रहना सब ठीक तो है हाँ बाबा हाँ मैंने प्रवासी भारत में कार्य मंत्रालय के टोल फ्री नंबर वन एट जीरो जीरो वन वन थ्री जीरो नाइन जीरो आरोप फोन करके पूरी जानकारी ले ली है लेकिन किसी से भेजा नहीं किन कब्जा को उनकी जरूरत पड़ेगी फीस क्या होगी वगैरह अब मैं तो मैं बैठ कर किसी भेज सकता हूँ और मैं भी देखे कैसे जा सकता हूँ बाबा प्रवासी भारतीय कार्य मंत्रालय भारत सरकार से सुरक्षित है नया फ्लैट खरीदते वक्त किसी स्ट्रक्चरल इंजीनियर से सलाह लें क्या यहाँ सॉइल टेस्टिंग किया गया है क्या घर नेशनल बिल्डिंग कोड के मुताबिक बना है याद रहे घर सुरक्षित तो आप सुरक्षित आपके हित में तत्पर इंडिया में पूरी जानकारी ले लें याद रहे आपकी सतर्कता भी आपका बचाव है बारिश का पानी बचाने की बात कौन 
जीवन से उठता है बारिश तो पानी का संरक्षण करे और जिंदगी का ये भी मजा लेते रहे नजर कैसे लगेगी परिवार की खुशहाली का मूल मंत्र परिवार नियोजन जो अपनाया है हमने सच में हमने बच्चों के बीच तीन साल का अंतर रखा जिससे बच्चों को अच्छे स्वास्थ्य के साथ साथ अच्छी परवरिश भी मिलेगी इससे तुम्हारी सेहत भी तो अच्छी रहेगी जानकारी के लिए अपने नजदीकी स्वास्थ्य के नीचे संपर्क करें इसे खाने से पहले जरा अपनी सलामती के बारे में भी तो सोचो डिब्बे पर इस्तेमाल करने की आखिरी तारीख क्या है आपने देखी अगर रहना है फिट और फाइन तो खरीदारी के समय उसे इस्तेमाल करने की आखिरी तारीख के साथ साथ उसका वजन और कीमत जरूर देखिए अब हमें इस संदेश को घर तक पहुँचाना Hello and a very warm welcome to this edition of Inside and Inside today we are going to talk about the economic survey report which was tabled in the Lok Sabha today of course the economic survey report did say that that uh, the economy is likely to grow between 6.1 to 6.7% in 2013 and 14 uh, despite of course the downturn and the situation that now the Indian economy is probably trying to also look up but what exactly have been the performance of the various sectors and how does uh, the economy really Looks like in this edition of the Sunday Report. And to discuss more on this, I'm joined by Mr. N. Madhavan from the Hindustan Times, Dr. Ramapendra Das from uh, the RIS Research and Information System for Developing Countries, and Mr. B. J. Nath from uh, the Financial Express. Welcome to the program, all of you. Let's start the discussion with uh, with you, Mr. Narendra Nath. Since we know that uh, the, the the growth figures are at least out, but more or less the the concerns remain the same, whether it's about the fiscal deficit or it's about the current account deficit. What exactly would you like to say about uh, the 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 report, uh, the economic survey report? No, basically the projection for this point is to this point seven percent. It's a bit on the optimistic side. Right. Yeah. Because generally, economic surveys tend to be optimistic. It is not a hazard for the economists sitting in North Block. Last year, there was a projection of 7.5 percent plus or minus 0.25 percent, and we are going to end up the year with 5 percent growth. Hmm. The fact of the matter is, the aggregate demand in the economy has substantially been affected. Both investment component of demand and the consumption component have been substantially affected. Domestic savings rate, which is the main driver of India's economic growth, has substantially Come down. The consumption growth rate in the last quarter was just three percent, and the fixed capital formation growth also, as opposed to some fifteen percent in the boom years, it is growing at around three percent or four percent now. So it is very clear that, and the exports are also for the last many months, export has been growing at a slow rate. Mm. So all segment of the economy, you know, the manufacturing sector, the infrastructure sector. Services sector, the survey says, is somewhat okay, but even there you see, except in certain areas like transport and service, one down, you see uh, the growth going down substantially. So even this relatively conservative estimate, uh, according to me, is an optimistic estimate. Mm -hmm. yeah. Doctor Ram Kendi Das, would you agree with him when he says that uh, the estimates look a little unoptimistic uh, in some certain aspects, but when it comes to growth, the economic survey, of course, has to project something positive. Yes, you know, I do agree with him in the sense that uh, given the domestic and external scenarios of today, uh, and also the way they are projected in future, uh, we do feel that these might to be a little optimistic. But as you know, in economics, you know, you are actually dealing with, uh, or at the center of the discourse is human being. So be it a consumer or investor or a planner. Ultimately, it is the psychology of the way you perceive the future. Uh, at you know, and for instance, inflationary expectations. That is why you know it is not something very real. But people expect 
that uh, you know prices will rise and therefore prices actually rise you know so the psychology of uh, the economic entities in different domains be it the consumption or investment be it private or public uh, is important and going by that i would say it is good to have some bit of reasonable you know optimistic scenario painted as far as process are concerned that's right but you know when it comes to uh, areas the key sectors here whether it's industry or uh, in industry to the manufacturing in particular the services sector or the agriculture sector certainly the performance has not been up to the mark and the economic survey also sort of shows some sort of uh, you know an optimism in saying that let's say if if the growth has to reach the percentage of 9% the three sectors will certainly have to improve from the present status that they are in That's right. Actually, it's not the three sectors. You know, it's like it's all connected in some way. And let's look at the real factor that is affecting growth overall. Uh, what it's what we call looking for the elephant in the room. The elephant in the room is inflation. Mm. You have wholesale price inflation despite two years of successive interest rate hikes by the Reserve Bank of India, uh, still cl- standing close to seven uh, to eight percent. And retail inflation, which is what the real consumers pay, is around 10 percent. And whether we like it or not, we are living in what kind of uh, an economic culture in which some kind of a welfareism is coming in. Although we talk of market reforms, that mm-hmm. means your wages go up in order to uh, catch up with prices. Prices go up in order to catch up with. Uh, That's what squeezes the demand for the in, for further growth through investments, and the interest rates have been going up and up and up because inflation is not coming down. Why is not inflation coming down? Because our um, what we call demographic dividend or the uh, also creates demand for goods and services, including agricultural products and farm goods. And uh, last year, the economic survey today observes, I think that. Last year the problem was in proteins like pulses or some extra vegetables. This year the price rise problem is in cereals itself. Mm-hmm. So we are not, uh, you know, FDI in retail, which is touted as a panacea for uh, increasing the supply of agricultural products, is not yet there. And the political realities are such that uh, nobody is uh, increasing investment. And Walmart is talking about coming here; it's not yet really fanning out into the country. So we are in a sort of a bit of what the Americans call a gridlock, where uh, inflation uh, has raised interest rates on the one hand, has reduced consumption power on the other hand, and at the same time we are going through this at a time when there is a global economic crisis. You know, people are, are busy in the U.S. and Europe minding their own problems that they don't have too much money to invest in India. So look at the uh, FDI data. Mm-hmm. FDI inflows uh, inflows in top five services fell by nearly 10 percent in the economic service uh, survey period. I think that was that is April to December. Mm-hmm. Overall FDI inflows in April November fell by 43 percent year on year. So we just heard uh, Mr. Narendra Modi talking about. Domestic savings being in a growth that is suffering its, suffering its own problems. FDI is also suffering. So it's savings that creates investment. That is a fundamental economic principle. When you don't have savings, you don't have money to invest. So domestic savings aren't coming in in the required quantities. Foreign savings are not coming in as FDI. So it's a no-brainer that mm. growth is stalled. Mm. However. The correct way to look at it is the optimism may be justified for two reasons. Uh, one is that uh, we are growing at five percent at a time when there is so many global and local problems. So that's not a bad place to be in in the global context. So that is something that is room for optimism, which means there is a basic traction in the economy. Which when one of those two problems sort themselves out, such as inflation and interest rates, let's say through what uh, statistical phenomenon of the base effect. Uh, then we might see a lowering of interest rates. In fact, the economic survey talks about uh, inflation coming down to uh, six to or six point two to six point six percent by the end of March. Mm. If that comes to pass, really speaking, there will be cheering all around. Mm. But uh, you know, uh, since you said that 
perhaps the time is not right and even if we are registering about 5% growth, we should be a little satisfied with the kind of situation that is there globally and domestically. But uh, at the same time, there's a rising concern over this uh, you know, swelling current account deficit and the economic survey is, in fact, it has called for curbing the import of gold to a large extent to contain it. How do you look at this measure? The current account deficit is basically the difference between the investment rate and the, the savings rate. Both the these rates have been coming down and this year it could be around more than 5%, even 6%. So it's a very alarming situation. We need to attract capital flows to finance the current account deficit. That's why the finance ministry is now keen to reduce the fiscal deficit even at the cost of slowing down the economy in the short term. Uh, the expenditure control measures in recent months uh, on the subsidy front and the other expenditure also. It has had some effect on growth, or at least in the short term. The second quarter growth, second half growth will be around only 4.6 percent. Mm. If 5 or 5 percent for the entire year is correct, 5.4 percent for the first half growth. So that means over a period of time, if the government is really, uh, attracts more private investment, the point here is that in addition to interest rates, there is a reluctance on the part of companies to invest. So you have an ECB window. Mm especially for the infrastructure sector created to pay up their outstanding rupee loans. Even that is not getting fully used up. That means interest rate is one issue. At the same time, because of the overall global economic situation, there is an unwillingness, a hesitation on the part of companies to invest. Mm. And in various other sectors of the economy, like infrastructure, we have issues of policy issues, delays in clearances, which are also affecting uh, the companies' uh, uh, no, uh, desire to invest. Mm. So, Overall, we have a situation where we have both investment is because investment and savings are affected. So this situation has to change. The, 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 the coming budget may give some incentives to promote both capital expenditure spending by the companies and also to encourage long-term household savings and corporate savings. That can translate into higher investments in the quarter circuit. So that's what we can hope for now. Mm. But you know, uh, the, the economic survey clearly says that there are uh, several reasons behind why we haven't been able to show that sort of growth uh, in our country. One, of course, could be the kind of uh, stimulus that was given to certain uh, areas. Of course, the consumption demand has also increased. But at the same time, there are international factors, whether it is to do with the Eurozone crisis or with the kind of fiscal policy in the US. And at the same time, the factors that Mr. Nandanath is also talking about, that is investment. We haven't really seen that sort of investment coming in our country. In fact, the investor sentiment has rather declined. Do you see that these areas, though they have been clearly outlined by the economic survey, are they going to be, you know, really figuring out in the upcoming budget too? Yes, uh, you know, I mean, uh, the basic uh, uh, issue why we are unable to appropriate the growth base that we want to, uh, now that our economy is more and more, you know, is getting determined by external forces because if you see trade as a proportion of GDP and if you add FDI also as a proportion of GDP, it's more than half of our GDP is now determined by external factors. Now, going back to your earlier point, and which is linked to the growth projections, uh, the current account deficit is nothing but, uh, you know, trade uh, deficit and also invisible account. Now, the problem is in trade deficit. And that is where, you know, your exports are not doing well. On the other hand, your import bills are rising. And two of the most important components of that import is oil and gold and silver imports. And that is why that is getting reflected in higher current account deficit uh, as a proportion of GDP. Now, the survey has highlighted, and in recent past, you know, finance ministry also has taken uh, measures already to curb gold imports because around 30%, uh, as the survey mentioned, about the 30% of current account deficit is actually accounted for by gold uh, imports. Mm -hmm. Now, there are two aspects, and I wanted to mention that, that while, yes, uh, gold imports need to be curbed, but just pure gold which comes via, you know, authorized routes uh, is not a very high proportion of our total uh, imports. Uh, what has been bothering the Ministry of Finance is golds coming via some of our free trade agreements by violating what is known as rules of origin provisions. And in fact, that is why imports of gold from Thailand were suspended. So 
I guess that more emphasis to contain current account deficit is being diverted to containment of gold imports and lesser effort to actually you know scale up our export linkages. Now, in that regard, my emphasis would be that when the Western world, US and Europe is on a slowdown, we have opportunities to have greater export markets in Africa and we are doing very well in Southeast Asia which needs to be further strengthened. Because if we take this premise that today more than half of GDP is through you know, its external uh, impulses that we uh, you know, get, then these are the matters which also find uh, you know, greater uh, uh, reflection or, or expression. In Mr. Madhavan, I'll, I'll take your uh, quick views also on the, uh, the the call for curbing the import of coal. Yeah, I think it's a very important point for a variety of reasons. First of all, uh, I want to say that gold imports are not really about gold alone. Even if in numbers term they, they may not be more than 5% of overall imports. The gold uh, exerts demand on the foreign exchange market. And therefore, the foreign exchange rate, the rupee tends to weaken. And when the rupee tends to weaken, it makes oil imports costlier in dollar terms. It has a knock-on effect on everything we import. Your mobile phone will become costly because the components may come from Taiwan. Mm. And your uh, oil may become your uh, diesel and petrol bills may go up for your transport, even public transport. So, I think it's important to remember that gold, apart from being considered by good economists as unproductive investment, just a yellow metal that doesn't create really jobs unless you count dwellers uh, or speculators, the fact is that gold prices, gold needs to be cut. Uh, there is a very small silver lining to this gold cloud, which is that if the government manages to sponge off gold, uh, and create constructive ways of using gold as a collateral to raise overseas debt. Mm -hmm. That means the current prevailing low interest rate uh, environment in the global economy. And the US for its own reason is going through a real zero interest rate period. I think Finance Minister Chidambaram being a very savvy man who knows exactly how the global financial minds work. Mm -hmm. I am expecting this budget to come up with, we, are, uh, we have indications that there will be some kind of a gold deposit or plant to sponge of gold on the one hand, on the other hand curve import of gold, so that the domestic stock of gold can be constructively utilized in some way that some of the interest rate burden that the economy, uh, economic survey moans about mm -hmm. you know, can yeah. come down because uh, instead of borrowing at home you might borrow abroad. Okay. Yeah, it's, a, it's a complex dynamic but I'm presenting the big picture with a couple of there's a positive and there's a negative side. Mm -hmm. Okay, so on that note, we'll take a very short break in Insight. Please stay tuned. You do in Sam Puri Dindiki, a third day can be cut down. Making this you can bath key, make a dancer key, in Sam Mahadan Kapunya can ask a tie. Make a dancer key, make a hino key and very Dindiki. अधिक जानकारी के लिए निकटतम नेत्र बैंक मेडिकल कॉलेज या जिला अस्पताल से संपर्क करें नेत्र दान महादान आज का कुछ सुपर फास्ट हो गया है यहाँ तक कि एल आई सी की पॉलिसी का प्रीमियम भरना भी बस एल आई सी की वेबसाइट पर जाकर फटाफट प्रीमियम भर देता हूँ समय की भी बचत और लोग तो फिर मैं और कहीं क्यों जाऊँ भाई साहब आपने पिछले क्या बिल्कुल नहीं भरा कब भरेंगे सर टेलीफोन कब भरा वो कब भरेंगे सर बेटा मनी ट्रांसफर अब तक नहीं हुआ तुम भेजोगे जल्दी करो ना बेटा पापा पापा आप मेरा मोबाइल जाकर भूले तो नहीं ना मुझे अभी चाहिए अभी के अभी क्या आप टेंशन फ्री लाइफ जीना चाहते हैं अब अपने मोबाइल फोन से स्टेट बैंक फ्रीडम पे लॉग ऑन करके ये पैसा ट्रांसफर मोबाइल टॉप अप फिर स्टेट बैंक स्टेट बैंक फ्रीडम तो वन आर का बैंक आपकी जेब में Oh, 
आपका भविष्य तो नहीं ऐसे भविष्य से बचने के लिए बारिश के पानी का संरक्षण कीजिए और पानी रखिए अभी भी पंद्रह रुपए का अरे वाह देखो ना आज भी कुछ कंपनियां ईमानदार हैं वो कैसे बाकी सभी कंपनियों ने अपनी कीमतें बढ़ा दी पर इन्होंने नहीं कीमत ही नहीं पैकेट का वजन भी देखो पहले ये दो ग्राम का हुआ करता था फिर एक का हुआ और अब एक तो बोला कीमत वही कैसे रही याद रखे कीमत की तुलना करते समय वजन जरूर देखें जो वजन देखे सही बैंकिंग पे झमेला है यार आप बैंक का सेविंग्स बैंक अकाउंट ट्राई करो उनके पास है नेट बैंकिंग टैक्स और बिलों का ऑनलाइन पेमेंट आर टी और एन ई द्वारा तुरंत फंड ट्रांसफर इंटरनेशनल डेबिट का एटीएम कार्ड फोन बैंकिंग अरे वाह बैंकिंग अब चुटकी में यार इलाहाबाद बैंक मिस्टर पुकर पेशे से अकाउंटेंट हिसाब किताब में माहिर हर प्रकार की चोरी पकड़ सकते हैं पर एक चोरी तो लगातार हो रही है इनकी दृष्टि की और वो चोर है काला मोतिया या ग्लूकोमा चश्मे का नंबर बार बार बदलना आंखों में तेल 